is Risa Canari. I am from Cyprus and I am a painter. Hello Krista, and what is your work about? Uh, my work, it's always centered around pain of some kind, like narratives of pain, uh, whether it's crime or war uh, or uh, just conflict and people in inflicting pain on other people. Um, at the moment, I am painting images from the conflicts between the Turkish Cypriots and the Greek Cypriots because it's something that's close to me, uh, you know, and I want to explore, I want to know about my country. Uh, so yeah, at the moment, I am painting children specifically uh, because they are the kind of the victims, they're, they're silent, they don't have a choice, they're just victims of war and conflict. Um, and I'm trying to, uh, that's what I'm trying to uh, communicate through the paintings. Yeah. Um, do you paint from images? And if so, what is the significance of these images? Uh, so as I've said, I, I'm painting from uh, historical images from Cyprus and the conflicts and the aftermath of the battles, um, so I have to do a lot of uh, research on Google to find these images because they have been hidden from history books, they're not really talked about because the, they, are, they are shameful and it's something, it's a p part of our history as Cypriots that we don't want to admit. Uh, so the significance of painting from these images of the children just like brutally murdered for no reason, uh, displaced uh, with no family, orphans, uh, it's important because I'm kind of bringing them back because they, you know, they have been stored away. Uh, so yeah, I'm confronting people with the truth of what they did. Can you tell us about the process? The painting process. Yes. Uh, so I start with the images. I copy them a bunch of times, and then I paint over them, or I make new sketches, as you can see on the wall. Um, mostly, I'm concerned with the colors and the composition, trying to find the most like intense colors uh, to make the image more impactful. Because I don't just want to make a the presentation of the image, just copy. Uh, I wanted to say something and I want to impose my own like, connotations and messages through the painting. Um, so yeah, I go from the sketches and then trying to translate that into the big painting, uh, which is very challenging. Uh, yeah, I uh, usually paint life-size because I think it's important, it's more impactful being confronted with, you know, a, what looks like a life-size child just staring back at you. Um, it's just hours of looking and painting, uh, more like dynamic brushwork and then looking at it and going back with more details. And if you overwork it, you have to wash it away and paint again. Uh, but yeah, I like for the viewers to be able to tell like what I've been doing and see my marks and how uh, rapidly I made them quickly. Um, so yeah, I use oil paint and charcoal. Yeah, so I'm kind of combining drawing and painting. Are there any artists that um, particularly inspire you and are relevant to your practice? Yes. Uh, so mostly it's Marlene Dumas and also Luke Toymans, uh, I think it's pronounced Wilhelm Sasno, and Miriam Khan, which are all painters that also work primarily from pictures, from newspapers, from uh, archives as well. So they are doing the same kind of thing I'm doing. They're bringing these images back and um, exposing them to us and they do so through also showing what paint can do. So it's not just representation, they have their own uh, identities through painting. Um, 
So yeah, it's an exploration of paint and what paint can do and what the material can make, but as well as, you know, uh, reiteration of the image into a more powerful. And I just want to, hmm. Yeah, I, it's, it's not exactly, it's, it is figurative, but it's also saying something. Mm -hmm. uh, exposing some kind of truth about the human condition, like exposing uh, something to viewers that they don't really want to see and they wouldn't want to see by themselves. Um, so it's not about making something pretty. Yeah, it's yeah. like the, the paint is a, an abstract matter that is very, very nice to look at. But when you realise what the image is of, it is very, exactly. very it's kind of provocative. Yeah, because at first you might not get it like what exactly it is, but once it hits you, like, oh, it's, oh, yeah. nice colors, bright colors, but what is this exactly? And once it hits you, it's that children. Why is this like an artwork? Yeah. It's a bit shocking, but yeah, I want to shock them, but I don't want to repulse them. So I have to force them to look at this image and confront it and um, confront like what it makes them feel. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what do you want the viewer to take from your work? Mm -hmm. uh, so as I've said, I do want to shock the viewers, but I also want to um, ask questions, you know, of them, of, uh, of beauty, I guess, of how beauty can be located in such like horrible matters. And um, yeah, just, we confront them with questions about humanity and what we are capable of inflicting on each other and also the fact that these images will be presented out of context but they seem so relevant because war and conflict is a constant and it's part of the human condition. Right? Okay. It's as though that like you're taking something from Cypriot history, mm -hmm. painting history um, and you're presenting it to the world for, I don't know, people to interpret it in many different ways because, quite frankly, I know nothing about the Cypriot yeah, wars and stuff. Yeah, it, it will be another, it, it is a way for me to uh, speak about the history of my country, which is not really known and it was a shock for me because uh, Nicosia is the only, currently the only um, capital in the world that is divided in half and it's just, it has, you know, become kind of normal that Cyprus is divided but it shouldn't be. So um, I was thinking about like how your painting practice is relevant to artists from Cyprus, like how mm -hmm. do you relate to them? And what, what steps yeah. and things are you taking from them to push Cypriot art forward, yeah. as well as it being um, historical reproduction mm -hmm. and reimagination of history? Viewing Cypriot art throughout my life, I never realised that it's all about pain and suffering and the sufferings of Cypriots. So for me, I thought all art is about pain also all around the world. So I think I was influenced by that and that's why I'm concerned with all these questions about pain and suffering and uh, so yeah it is kind of dark as a whole the aesthetic of Cypriot art and literature is centered around uh, what my country has gone through the colonization the occupation the invasion the, all the conflicts the battles everything it's just yeah art comes from some pain for me yeah